Today I am back in DCS flying the F-16 Fighting Falcon, or Viper is now its official uh, name, I believe. Uh, I got this very recently and I absolutely love it. I'm not 100% familiar with how it all works yet, but uh, I've got a solid few uh, air-to-air kills and air-to-ground kills. So today we're going to be predominantly doing air-to-air. -air. I'm on the 59th Raven server. And on the Caucasus map, and we are going to be trying to do the uh, the Russian tactic, as it's known. So we're going to be nice and low in the mountains, and we're going to try and remain as stealthy as possible. So without further ado, let's uh, let's roll out. Rolling onto the runway here. Runway 11. Final checks. Rudder check. There we go. Good. Nose wheel steering. Uh, we'll keep that on. Alright, let's, uh, let's throw it up and get going. And we're in the air. I didn't feel a tail strike there, but uh, felt like my angle was a little bit high, so... Aircraft feels fine. Let's just do a quick inspection. Yeah, all good. All good. Didn't tail strike. So, a little bit more about this aircraft. Uh, the F-16 Fighting Falcon uh, was designed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force as an air superiority fighter, but uh, it's actually over time has evolved to become a very capable multi-role platform. If I remember correctly, uh, there are 26 countries that use F-16s. 26 countries. That's a, that's a lot. Alright, so you can see our radar's on, because uh, it doesn't say no rad above the crosshair. Now what I'm going to do, if I don't remember how, yep, dogfight mode, and then hit that, that's vertical scan, and then I have a keybind set up for this button here, which allows me to change my weapon. So I can switch to the AIM-120 AMRAM, which is the, uh, the big boomstick, or the AIM-9X, which is the higher foresight heat-seeking missile that I told you about earlier. Most of the time we're going to be using the AMRAMs, but uh, I do expect to get into a dogfight or two, so we are going to have to use those AIM-9s at some point. I'm going to switch this to my HSD because I'm going to do most of this visually. And let's dive into the mountains. So I'm not actually seeing anything on Data Link yet. Let's up that range to 120 miles here. I'm not actually seeing anything just yet, so either there's nothing in the air, which is quite boring, hopefully that does end up being something in the air. Either that or our AWACS and other aircraft on Data Link just aren't seeing them. Which I'm assuming is the case. Yeah, I can see two little red markers down at the bottom there. Those are behind me. Okay. Now, on my HSD, my left, which is activated on my left multifunction display, you can see two big yellow circles. Those are the two. Those are coming from the two enemy air bases. Gudate is the closest one, and Sochi 
is the farthest one and Sochi is where the enemy aircraft come out of so I'm going kind of towards and around Sochi in the hope that I can uh, sort of poke the hornet's nest a little bit and get some enemy aircraft to fly out I'm just checking my tail every now and again just in case I get jumped by something that isn't on data link Oh, I see something now. Yeah. yeah, we've got something behind us, but we've got something over at Sochi, so let's get that locked up on Datalink. Use the HSD to pinpoint its location, and he's quite low. Four angels, and he's in the mountains. Data link contact. You can still see him there on the little panel. I'm going to decrease that range so we know how close he is. Eh, about 40 miles. Well, there's another one that's quite close. thousand feet. Relatively high up, especially compared to me. Uh, I'm going to get a radar lock on him and then I'm going to jump up nice and high and try and meet him. I don't think that's going to work. Alright, we've been locked. By what? I am not sure. Can't see him. We're locked on. Fox 3. And let's dive into cover. Splash 1 F-16. We got him. I'm assuming we've got an AMRAM one up, but so, uh, yeah, don't want to get too close. To, don't want to let that hit us. Because that's going to hurt. Very uncomfortable. Now I can drop the tanks. One under 7,200 pounds of fuel. And tanks are gone. Still some stuff behind us. That's a Tomcat. It's on the top left of my HMD, head mounted display screen. It says 14. That means that I'm being looked at by the radar of an F-14. And the F-14 is a Tomcat. For those who don't know. And I am on the wrong button. Uh, okay, this is not good. Yeah, I have my, my uh, Sidewinder selected, which is not what I want. There we go. Managed to fix that. So we've got an M54 right on our tail. Missiles are very dangerous. 
Yeah, that's not a nice thing to see. I don't like seeing those. I'm very scared. <laughs> see the M in the at the M in the top left corner of the screen that indicates a missile. And I'm gonna switch to V scan, vertical scan. Turn on the radar, we can come back around. Stay on the burner, keep the speed. Target is locked up. Fox 3. Run away. <laughs> We've got to get out of here now. We're being seriously chased. Yeah, that's another missile. Splash 1 F14. So we've killed a cat. Oh! Okay, he hit me. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, god damn it. Now, who was that? That was. Yeah, that was a Tomcat. So his missile, because it was a Fox 3, it kept tracking. Oh, we've got a teammate up here. Oh, it's Spathy. Yeah. Uh, he's taken harms. Interesting. Right, uh, let's get respawned. Um, now this will give me a chance to show you how I actually set up the aircraft. So, just get my nice splinter livery on. Now, I was I a little tip for the F-16: don't put sidewinders on the wingtips because, for whatever reason, which I have yet to discover actually ruins the aer the uh, aerodynamics of this aircraft. So we always put the AMRAMs on the edges of the wings and put the sidewinders on underneath the wings. Take fuel tanks, the little ECM pods. Always take the long one because it's kind of like a, a four in one package deal. So I've got a nice little camera view set up here for the uh, for the takeoff. I cut out the whole taxiing bit because it's kind of boring to be honest. Watching somebody just taxi down a to a runway. All right. This part, however, should be much more exciting. All systems are go. Full afterburner and launch. Rotate. Takes off nice and quickly, the F-16. And let's turn out into the Altitude. air. Altitude. One gripe I have about this aircraft is that the, uh, the flaps are actually tied to the landing gear. So what I mean by that is, if you have the landing gear down, the flaps are down as well. But if you have the landing gear up, flaps are up as well, but there's no manual override for that, which I, I just really don't like. It's kind of, I, I like being able to control my flaps separately, so that I can uh, say if I'm taking off with a really heavy load, I want to be able to retract the landing gear to reduce drag, but I want to keep my flaps down uh, to keep that little bit of extra lift. Got our, uh, that's our friendly AWACS up there. That's who has given me data link. So hopefully he'll be uh, flying over the area of operations as soon as possible. We're going to hit this mode. This is the HSD. Oh, we're already being locked up. Okay. That's worrying. Don't like that. That's an enemy up there, over my airbase. Uh, okay. Interesting. I can't say I expected that. Target locked.
Fox story. I think our Sams are gonna get him before I do. Yep, he's down. Surface turn missiles got him, but it was worth a shot. It was certainly worth a shot. And that will allow us to get back into the AO without hindrance. I always like to lock things up on data link first before locking them up on radar because that means I can just look towards them, see where they are, and then uh, point the nose at them without having to do it all on a little screen. There's something nice about just being able to see where something is just by looking at it. Stay off the after bonus because this thing can really guzzle if it wants to. Oh dear. Come off the burner. Altitude. Altitude. I honestly, although sitting up there at 45,000 feet, while it does work and it works very well, it's a very effective Altitude. tactic because you can maximize the speed and range of your missiles. As good as that tactic is, it's nothing like as fun as just being down here, flying dangerously and irresponsibly close to trees and mountains at near supersonic speeds. Turn on the data link properly. Yeah, Sochi is just over there. Or is it so Oh, game freeze. We've got something on data link just outside our radar. So let's see. Two enemy aircraft on data link. Uh, over there. F 18s. One's an F 18. Don't know about the other one. Target lock, nearly. Oh, never mind. Can't lock him. Oh, is our thing on? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we can't lock him just yet. So when that little symbol goes solid there, then we can, well, supposedly, we'll be able to lock him up. There we go. Yep, yeah. and target locked. So once that little carrot there goes down into that range bar, we'll be able to fire. We can fire now, but we're not in range. So we're going to climb up, increase our altitude, maximize that range. Got a really fast closure rate. Nearly 1,200. All right, that's in range. We're going to get a little bit closer. Come to Papa. And Fox 3. Lose that target. Lock that one. Fox 3. And let's get the hell out of here. Might have to dump tanks soon. Yep. We're at 8,000 pounds of fuel. Splash 1. I think we might have missed the second one. Yeah, he looks to be behind us still. Altitude. Altitude. 
I'm gonna climb up. Turn over. Try and see if I can see this guy again. Don't know where he is. I know there were two of them, because I fired at two of them. Let's ch just check the map roll. Just be a bit cheaty. Oh, there he is. He's on data link now. Alright. Lock him up. And let's get in range and Fox 3 him. See him over there nearly. Yeah, there he is. Just getting hidden by my little target indicator. And that is in range. Let's just, let's just let's just let him sweat for a bit. Let's just let him sweat. And Fox 3. Yep, he's fired at me, so I'll return the favor. And we're gonna get back down into the weeds. We're out of MRAMs, so we're just down to our AIM-9 Sidewinders now. Those are our short-range, higher foresight missiles. What it does mean is if I end up getting into a dogfight with him, he is fooked. Although I think I'm going to just... Re I'm not going to risk it, I'm going to return to pace. Jets and the fuel tanks. Don't need them anymore, they're empty. And let's head home and get some more ammo. Rams. Uh, I don't. No, we didn't kill that one. I didn't get a uh, a kill indicator. But I think he crashed into a mountainside while he was evading a missile. As they do, the AIs on this server are a little bit stupid. But uh, sometimes, you know, you really can't complain. But it does mean that he managed to deny me that kill. Let's see, how many kills have I actually got today? I've got five air kills and one loss. That's a total for the day. points on this server, which kind of stuck, kind of sucks, because it means I've then got to use the map to navigate, which I don't like having to do. I've got a MiG-29 radar over there, which is a bit concerning. Just about, yeah, just about see Sakumi. So I'm going to throttle down because we've gone quite quick. That's nearly 500 knots. We just hit there very fast. That's pretty good considering that was my uh, first sort of solo air to air flight. I don't think I've done too badly. Alright, we're on final approach. Almost.
Talon 1 on final approach to Sukumi. Oh, I'm a bit slow here. <laughs> Altitude. Altitude. Didn't think the air brakes were that good. But notice how quickly we managed to regain that speed. That's the beauty of the F-16 right there. That's its, uh, that's its party piece. And uh, we're being locked up by that. Oh, yeah, that's, of course the Tomcat decides to shoot at me while I'm landing. As they do. I can use my uh, countermeasures while my landing gears down, that's pretty cool. Breaks because the anti skid is garbage. And here we go. I don't think, yep, that Phoenix didn't hit us. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video because it was a good laugh to make. Good fun. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Maybe you even subscribe if you want to. Don't feel like you're being forced. But uh, please subscribe, it does help. Uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.